Our first story is about a drug on the streets that is growing in popularity and that is taking its hold here in Somerville. Heroin is something you tend to think happens to people you don't know and in neighborhoods that are far away, but not anymore. Reporter Kami Wood has the story. You can see it's actually moving so it's like a liquid form. Heroin. It's the drug Somerville police are particularly concerned about this year. We have found that there are more heroin users today than in the past. A heroin at one time was uh, what was considered a junkie's uh, drug. You know, people used cocaine uh, for recreational purposes. We saw a lot of cocaine, a lot of marijuana. Today, we don't see cocaine as much because, again, cocaine is a recreational drug. But we are seeing a lot of heroin because heroin is so addictive. More and more people have become addicted to it. They need it. The more they need it, the more it becomes accessible. And we're seeing more heroin today than we've ever seen in the past. Police say the heroin is purer and cheaper today than in the past. But one reason in particular makes it especially popular. The main reason is the availability. Um, you know, with, with the Oxycontin problem we've had in the past, uh, they've made you know, procedures now that you can't really get Oxycontin as easily as you could in the past. So people who have an Oxycontin problem, um, you know, a Percocet problem, have gone to heroin because it's more accessible, it's cheaper, you know, you don't have to go to a pharmacy to try to get it. Um, even on the street, it's not available like it once was. So heroin, unfortunately today, is much easier to get. Police say the heroin on the streets is stronger than ever, too. They find former addicts dead of overdoses in fast food restaurant bathrooms and parked cars. But then when you turn around and sold this off the street, you could, you could actually profit almost $400,000 just on this here. Wow. The heroin comes from Afghanistan. Distribution is like any other business. This dealer even has a logo and a brand, Knockout. So they made it a, you know, a law saying that you can possess hypodermic needles now. So we're seeing these everywhere, even in, on the, in the gutters, on sidewalks. We get calls all the time for pick up hypodermic needles. The heroin problem now has gotten so worse and it's affected even the best of families. You know, uh, years ago there used to be that stereotype that uh, heroin was uh, people on the street, you know, junkies. That's not the case today. One Somerville resident who has been clean for six years agreed to share his story. He asked to remain anonymous, so his voice has been disguised. Um, things started to progress after graduation of high school, um, and it progressed really quickly. I, I got a job on my college campus as a, a bartender, and you know, bartending led to um, to marijuana. Marijuana led to pills, and the social acceptability of all of the the common street drugs that we might hear about uh, really gave way to. Um, a more open mind to other substances that might help me chase the feeling away that, that I had that I just didn't belong in this world. He graduated at the top of his high school class and came from an apparently normal family. You know, if you looked at my life from the outside, um, prior to heroin becoming a part of it, it looked like I should have been living the American dream with the college graduation, top of the high school class. Um, but at the lows, it, it really got ugly. Um, you know, my mother and father found me overdosed in my bedroom. Um, my brother is still scarred to this day from that experience. Um, and, and it was that experience that led me to a detox unit, that led me to back to 12-step fellowships um, and into the meetings that I attend today. Now police say heroin dealers are moving off the streets and into homes. We've seen that the street corner dealing pretty much in Somerville has subsided. We don't see that often. Uh, because of the discreetness, we see a lot of narcotics use uh, coming from residents, coming from houses. And narcotics dealers are now trying to get into residential neighborhoods where they won't be detected. You know, they'll blend in with, with their neighbors. Um, unfortunately for, for them, that uh, you know, we get a lot of good information from people who reside in neighborhoods, they want to protect their neighborhoods, and tell us about oncoming traffic and what's going on in the neighborhoods. So it's, it's been very helpful to us. Almost every week, police are making heroin arrests here in Somerville. Police are working with prevention programs to ensure that users get help. If someone you know is an addict, there are many resources here in the city. Reporting for Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Kami Wood.
The man who shared his story wanted our viewers to know they can find information and help at www.nerna.org. Here are some additional resources. Somerville Cares About Prevention, the Somerville Trauma Response Network, and CASPAR.